Hello guys, this is me Gaurav. Today I'm gonna show you how to download and install Alpine Linux. Go to Google, type Alpine Linux, the first website alpinelinux.org, the official website of Alpine Linux. Go to the download tab. Okay, so now here are multiple options for you. Standard almost can be installed on any physical or virtual hardware. 32 bit 64 bit extended contains some extra packages I will go with the virtual option since it can be easily used with the virtual box and VMware applications I download okay I already have the ISO so there is no need to download it again I will just cancel it close the tab Okay, create new machine Alpine type Linux Linux 64 bit RAM 1 GB of RAM. Okay, the hard drive is of 8 GB sufficient for now okay so just before starting the machine I'm going to do some configuration settings that you would also like to do first go to the audio tab and turn it off no need of any audio okay this is the important setting network setting I am going to make the network adapter as bridge adapter okay let's just start okay ISO at this screen press enter Okay, so the default password for Alpine Linux, the default username for Alpine Linux is root with no password. So just type root and press enter. As you can see, you can set up the system with the command setup Alpine. This is the command that is used for installing Alpine Linux on hard drive. Okay select keyboard layout in for India in hyphen ENG for English host name Alpine oh it's helping now let's just go with it okay so it will ask me for a network adapter Eto, the default adapter which Alpine Linux has detected and I only have one network adapter so I will go with the Eto option If you want to use a static IP, you have to type the IP manually. Since in this tutorial, I am going to use uh, static IP. Or else, if you don't want to use the static IP, you can just press enter. Since we are now using static IP, so 20, okay, 2 gateway. Okay, so here are my network settings further it ask me if you want to do any more manual network configuration I will go with the default option which is no domain name um, alpine.example DNS server name I will use the Google's DNS for name server password for root account okay I have to set the time zone now press question mark press enter it will list you all the zones select uh, since I am from India I have to go with the Asia press question type question mark again press enter and it will list all the time zones which are, are considered under Asia region so mine is called Kata 
do you want to use proxy no okay so hey, then after proxy it will ask you for a mirror which mirror do you want to select since this is an important option we are in future we are going to use uh, packages download packages install packages from these repositories so I will go with the default F option which stands for fastest mirror I can get in my region F this will take some time since it's uh, detecting all the mirrors and picking up one that is the fastest Okay, so which is, uh, I mean, how you want to connect to the repositories, which SSH client do you want to use? The default is open SSH. I will go with the open SSH option. Which NTP client to run? NTP client means network transfer protocol client. The default network time protocol client, sorry. So the default is crony, which is good enough. Okay, which hard drive would you like to use? I only have attached one hard drive to the Alpine machine and we are going to use it to install SGA. Okay, how would you like to use it? Would you like to create a LVM and then create sub partitions and then use it? Since I'm not going to use it as a LVM. I will directly type sys. So sys stands for system. I'm going to use the partition as system partition by directly installing the files on it. Okay, erase the entire hard drive. Yes. This is going to take some time. almost complete okay now we can reboot the system for now I will not I will just power off instead of rebooting okay the machine is off now I will go to the settings and I will make sure that the ISO is removed further the further the default boot option is 
hard drive and should be at the first priority okay let's just start press enter okay so now username password that i have given during the time of installation and we are up let's just check the ip okay the etho ip is good enough it's 172.16.1.24 if uh, you want to ssh the root account you have to edit some things go to type vi vi etc ssh ssh d hyphen config okay press enter go down go down okay see this option permit root login prohibited password that means if you want to login as root you have to do it via the key mechanism rsa or any other key mechanism since i want to use i want to do it via password so i have to change it press i for insert mode clear prohibited clear prohibit password type yes press escape twice semicolon w for write q for quit dollar for don't ask me anything okay done let's just restart the ssh service oh it's ssh d okay now let's just try to ssh 172.16.1.24 okay yes root password okay so i am up now helping okay let's just power off thanks for watching